Tesla is advancing its dry electrode technology, which reduces the number of processing steps and promotes sustainability. Tesla's battery cells are usually cylindrical, and the manufacturing process involves stacking the positive electrodes, separators, and negative electrodes before subjecting them to a charge-discharge cycle and aging to ensure durability. After production, the individual cells are organized into modules and battery packs for vehicle assembly. Tesla often uses cell-to-pack technology, skipping the module stage to reduce weight and increase energy density. As Tesla ramps up its production, the numbers are staggering. In 2024, with over 1.78 million vehicles sold, the company will need nearly 7 billion battery cells. This includes about 2,976 cells for each Model 3 or Model Y standard range, 4,416 cells for each Model 3 or Model Y long range, 7,180 cells for each Model S or Model X, and 1,344 cells for each Cybertruck. Beyond vehicles, Tesla's energy storage business, including Powerwall and Megapack, could require up to 10 billion cells which would exceed its electric vehicle production needs. To meet this demand, Tesla collaborates with several key partners. Panasonic, a pioneer in lithium ion batteries, has been working with Tesla since 2010. LG Energy Solution provides 2,170 cells for the Model 3 and Model Y from gigafactories in Shanghai and Berlin, while KTL, the world's largest battery manufacturer, supplies LFP cells for Tesla. One of Tesla's key suppliers is BYD, a company that not only provides batteries, but also competes directly with Tesla in the global electric vehicle market. BYD was founded in 1995 in China and initially focused on mobile phone batteries. In the 2000s, the company shifted to lithium ion batteries and introduced its first plug-in hybrid in 2008. In 2020, BYD unveiled its blade battery technology which led to a partnership with Tesla, providing blade batteries for the Gigafactory in Berlin in 2023. This partnership is especially significant because BYD is one of Tesla's biggest competitors, particularly in China and the global EV market. This situation mirrors the dynamics in other tech industries, such as Apple relying on Samsung for display panels, despite their fierce rivalry in the smartphone market. One of BYD's key contributions to Tesla has been the lithium iron phosphate LFP battery, which has lower energy density than NMC, nickel manganese cobalt batteries, but offers a longer lifespan and significantly lower production costs. LFP technology is now used in the standard versions of the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y in China, making up about 40% of the total battery supply for these models. Tesla has also tested LFP batteries in the US for standard versions, but due to supply chain challenges, the company still depends on various suppliers. The widespread adoption of LFP cells is crucial for reducing production costs and making more affordable Tesla models available in the future. While Tesla continues to rely on partners like BYD and others for battery supplies, the company is moving toward greater self-sufficiency in battery production. Since acquiring Maxwell Technologies in 2019, Tesla has been advancing its dry electrode technology and by 2020, it announced plans to mass produce its own 4,680 cells. To date, Tesla has produced over 100 million 4,680 cells and is expanding its Nevada Gigafactory to reach a capacity of 100 gigawatt per year, enough to power 1.5 million electric vehicles annually. However, despite these advancements, Tesla still relies on various suppliers like Panasonic, LG, Samsung, and recently, China's EVE Energy to scale up production and meet the growing demand for batteries. Would a specific feature make you more likely to switch to an electric vehicle sooner? Comment with one for charging speed or two for battery life, or feel free to leave your other thoughts in the comments below. By the way, thanks to everyone who helped us reach one zero 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 subscribers and earn our silver play button. We're now aiming for one two hundred zero zero and your support is essential. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It helps us grow and ensures you stay updated on Tesla and EV news. Thanks again for being part of this journey. Tesla's lithium refining plant in Robstown, Texas is making significant progress with recent drone images revealing major developments. 
According to construction observer Joe T. Meir, the photos show the foundation for what will eventually be production line one and the beginning of work on production line two. This progress marks a major leap since August with new power substations at the site and nearly completed installations of critical equipment such as the rotating kiln and cooler set one. Tesla's ambitious goal for this plant is to produce 50 gigawatt hours of lithium annually, which is an essential step in securing its battery supply chain. While production was initially scheduled to begin in the first quarter of this year, with plans for ramping up through the second half of the year, it seems more work is needed before full-scale operations can start. Tesla broke ground on the Robstown facility in May after announcing the plans at its Investor Day event in March 2024. As construction progresses, Tesla has also increased its hiring for the site, with 40 open positions listed, covering roles such as regional directors, logistics supervisors, senior metallurgists, and various managerial and technical positions. This hiring spree indicates that operations are ramping up as the plant prepares to meet the company's long-term production goals. Tesla's lithium refining plant in Texas has already produced its first spodamine, a refined mineral containing lithium, marking a significant milestone. In their Q4 and fiscal year 2024 update, Tesla revealed that this spodamine was produced just 18 months after the facility broke ground. Tesla claims this achievement was completed much faster than any plant outside Asia. With production underway, Tesla aims to have the refinery fully operational by 2025, advancing its self-sufficiency in lithium extraction and refining. Looking ahead, the future of electric vehicle batteries is focusing on three key areas, faster charging speeds, higher energy density, and longer battery life. Tesla's already rolling out next generation superchargers, capable of providing up to 500 kW of power allowing models like the Cybertruck to charge significantly faster. Other companies are working on charging technology above 350 kW to reduce charging times to under 15 minutes. In terms of energy density, Tesla is investing in batteries that will provide longer ranges with the same battery size or reduce vehicle weight, which will improve performance and lower production costs. Research into battery technologies that extend lifespans to as much as 1 million miles is also underway which could significantly reduce long-term replacement costs. Battery recycling is another area of focus for Tesla in the entire industry. With millions of batteries being produced every year, recycling has become essential. Tesla has committed to ensuring that 100% of its used lithium ion batteries are recycled rather than disposed of. Companies like Redwood Materials and LeCycle are heavily investing in recycling technologies, enabling the recovery of valuable materials from old batteries and promoting a circular economy in the EV sector. This growing ecosystem has the potential to address both supply chain challenges and environmental concerns, offering a more sustainable solution for the future of electric mobility. Tesla is not the only company working to secure a stable lithium supply in the U.S. Uh, Tesla, Tesla is not the only company working to secure a stable lithium supply in the U.S. Stardust Power has also made significant strides with the groundbreaking of its $1 billion, $200 million lithium refinery in Oklahoma. This facility, which is set to become one of the largest of its kind in the U.S., will eventually have the capacity to produce up to 500 tons of battery grade lithium per year. Construction began after Stardust Power acquired 66 acres of land in Muskogee, Oklahoma in January 2025 with the necessary permits secured in 2024. The first phase of the project will focus on a production line capable of producing two, five, zero, 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 zero tons annually, with the second phase expanding capacity to 500, zero, zero tons per year. The location of the refinery in Muskogee, Oklahoma is strategic due to its central position in the U.S. for shipping and transportation, as well as a skilled workforce familiar with the oil and gas industry. The refinery will utilize the nearby Muskogee port on the mcclellan Care arkansas River navigation system to transport lithium-rich brine to the facility, where it will be refined and shipped out via the same waterways this innovative logistics approach highlights the refinery's potential to speed up the U.S. energy transition while boosting the local economy in Oklahoma. Stardust Power's lithium refinery is expected to qualify for up to $257 million in economic incentives from state and federal governments, further solidifying its role 
in advancing the nation's push toward energy independence and sustainability. With the refinery's full operation, it will complement ongoing efforts from companies like Tesla, helping the U.S. meet the growing demand for lithium, a key component in the electric vehicle revolution. In conclusion, Tesla's massive advancements in battery production are reshaping the game for electric vehicles and energy storage. This progress is bringing us closer to a more sustainable future with faster charging, longer lusting batteries and a more efficient supply chain. The way we drive may look very different in the near future. What do you think? Would you switch to an EV if charging times were cut in half? Or maybe you're already planning to do so. Hit that like button if you're excited about the future of electric vehicles. Share your thoughts below and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our latest updates.